Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Logic. In the last video, we discussed diagrams for arguments. We learned the four basic patterns. But in this video, we'll learn more complex patterns. Here's an example. Now, as we examine the argument, we see that statement one is the conclusion. As we draw the diagram, we see that statement two and statement three support the conclusion conjointly. Statement four and statement five support the conclusion independently. Now it's time for your practice problems. Now I encourage you to participate. It may be difficult, but you can do it. When I ask you a question, press pause, try to solve the problem, and then press play to see if you get it correct. Now here's the first practice problem. First, select the correct diagram for the argument. Press pause because I'm going to give you the answer in three, two, one. Ding! Here is the correct answer. Next, choose the correct sequence of statements in the argument. Press pause because I'm going to give you the answer in three, two, one. Ding! That's the correct answer here. Notice that two and three support one conjointly. Five supports one independently, and four supports three. All right. Here's another practice problem. Now begin by selecting the correct diagram for the argument. Press pause. The answer is in three, two, one. Bing! That's correct. Now choose the correct sequence of statements in the argument. Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Bing! That's correct. Two and three support one independently, and four and five support three conjointly. Now, here's another practice problem. First, select the correct diagram for the argument. Press pause. The answer is in three, two, one. Bing! That's correct. Next, choose the correct sequence of statements in the argument. Press pause. The answer is in three, two, one. Bing! That's correct. Two, three, and four support one independently, and five and six support four independently. Well, here's another practice problem. Begin by selecting the correct diagram for the argument. Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Bing! That's correct. Now choose the correct sequence of statements in the argument. Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Bing! Congratulations. That's correct. Two and three conjointly support four, and four supports one, which is the conclusion. Now, here's another practice problem for you. You know to begin by selecting the correct diagram for the argument. Press pause. The answer is in three, two, one. Bing! That is correct. Next, select the correct sequence of statements. Press pause. The answer is in three, two, one. Bing! Congratulations! That is correct. Three, four, and five independently support one, and statement two supports three. Here's another practice problem. Begin by selecting the correct diagram. Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! That's correct. Next, select the correct sequence of statements. Press pause. Answers in three, two, one. Bing! Congratulations. That's correct. Three and four support one conjointly, and two supports one independently. Now, you may want to get some scratch paper, because it's about to get more difficult. As we turn it up a notch, here we go. Here's another practice problem for you. Begin by selecting the correct diagram. Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Bing! That is correct. Now, select the correct sequence. Press pause. The answer is in three, two, one. Bing! Congratulations. That's correct. The conclusion is supported independently by 3 and 4. 2 supports 3. Also, 6 and 8 support 4 independently. 5 supports 6 and 7 supports 8. Good job. Well, here's another practice problem. Choose the correct diagram. Press pause. The answer is in 3, 2, 1. Bing! That's correct. Now, choose the correct sequence. Press pause. The answer is in 3, 2, 1. Bing! That's right. One is supported independently by two, three, and four. 
and four is supported by five and six conjointly. Here's another practice problem. Choose the correct diagram. Press pause, the answer's in three, two, one, bing, that's right. Now choose the correct sequence. Press pause, the answer's in three, two, one, bing, that's correct. Congratulations for making it through those practice problems. Now, if you want more practice, I recommend writing some of your own arguments and then draw diagrams for them. Please see the other logic videos in this channel. Post any questions and comments below. Thank you so much, folks. That's all, and have a great day.